So I made a Vikings Archers into three Stable Knights into Castle Drop sort of build slash strategy. And I never got to really showcase it on stream because my opponents were all just, you know, attacking me early or whatever. And it just never ended up working out. Or, like, I'd build the archers and the opponent would be up the castle age so quickly and I'd just kind of be so far behind. But I'm going to just showcase it in a single player here. So let's go up against King Charles. I'm going to overlay the build on screen here as well so you can follow along. But the first villagers are going to be going to sheep here for six. So it's going to be a pretty standard build to start. Let's bring that in. Awesome, awesome. So it was... I guess I did stream for about nine hours, so I got quite a few games in. And I found that an early tower was kind of bad. Like when I would build both of my wood lines on the same um, wood, I would build both the lumber camps on the same wood, then if I got towered or something, it would be just a full disaster. So I'm gonna make sure to get first wood line sort of in the back, and then the second wood line is gonna have to be also sort of in the back or not on the same wood line that's really the main thing oh yeah there this is actually a perfect map for this because i have a, another wood line right here so we're just gonna first get the yeah six on sheep then three on wood then we're gonna bear, bring in the bear the boar I was on ladder, I was bringing in the forward boar a little bit early because I was kind of scared of the opponent laming it. So you might want to bring in it a little early, but as long as it's about like this, it's going to work out. So basically when this boar comes in, this next sheep is going to be about finished. It actually comes in a little bit early, but it's fine. So the next villager is going to go to forage, and luckily... It's kind of good that the forge is a little bit forward, just because then I can start my wall with the houses here. But, well, that's like the only good thing about it. <laughs> so we're going to do a little fancy lure. And, yeah, I have all of my sheep, so I guess I don't really need to scout. I'm just going to put them on auto scout for this. Then I don't have to keep jumping back and forth. Might be a little bit easier to watch the game. You want to force drop when you're taking boar. A lot of the time. That's going to be consistent with a lot of builds. Uh, here we go. So, six here, and then you lure, er, and then three, and then lure, and then four on berries. So, the house builder counts as a berry villager. And then after, you have four on forage. We're going to want to lure in this boar. I find that just sending a vill a little bit early is going to help. And then the next vill can just go here. And then the vill after the luring vill, actually, we're going to keep sending them on boar. So we want to actually get up to 10 on this second boar eventually. Like that. Why not? There we go. So that'll be 10 there. And then we're going to want three more on wood. So we go wood. And you can actually go up with one less villager. Uh, actually, actually, I guess I do have it in the build to go up on 20. But you can go up with one more villager, I should say, if you find that it's not quite smooth enough. So we're going to have... Uh, actually, no, no. The, the build order actually has it at 20. So the, so you can actually go up here, or you can get loom and then go up here, but I have the build actually set to be a little bit easier. So once that's done, we want to transfer three of these to another wood line. Actually, one of these should have gone over here. Uh, actually, no, no, it doesn't matter because we're getting that extra build. You make one Dark Age farm. 
<laughs> so we're gonna get those there. The one Dark Age farm is actually really important at this point, because otherwise you just don't quite have enough for Fletching. That's what I was finding. So this should work out perfectly. Hey, the scout is actually not... Well, it's probably gonna go to the corner, but that, that looked okay. Just for a little while. So you want to get the barracks when you can afford it here, which is gonna be now. And the great part about adding the extra bill is that you can wall. So I could have been walling a little bit. I will showcase that. Let's do a little bit of walling. Because I have the extra wood. Oh. Uh, actually, let's... It's so tempting to go to that other wood line, but we're, we're just going to go like this. This barracks, you can actually start it at 60%, and then it's finished at right when Feudal Age goes up. So it's actually probably better to just build it at 60%. But it's fine. So you'll see, even with a bit of walling, we're going to have enough for the archery range. We're just going to ignore his scouts. But these these days, it's really hard to even wall your entire map, so... I don't know. You don't really have to. It's probably a good idea, but it's not a big deal. If you can't, you do eventually want to get your wall up, but you don't really have to rush it up, is what I'm saying. Although, I did die to a Lithuanian's... Um, it was a Lithuanian's Spear and Skirm Rush. That, that he, he basically, like... He was like... 18 pop, no, you, probably 19 pop, I don't know, 18, 19 pop up, and then just like spears and skirms on the front. It was insane. Um, yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do, yeah, I wanted to get the mining camp. I, I think, do I have it in the build where I get the, the blacksmith first? Blacksmith, oh, blacksmith after the mine camp. Okay, so no, I had it right. Okay, whoops, ooh. These bills that I've been sending here, they're actually just supposed to go to stragglers and then to, um, then they're just supposed to go to the farms that I'm gonna be building here. Yeah, so I should have four there and four there, good. I think I, maybe I, actually no, I'm supposed to have five on one. Should have nine. Okay, there we go. So we want to get farms now. Just just basically just keep making farms. If the opponent is going scouts, let's just add another... We'll, or we'll just add a spear in right here. No problem. We can just do that. So just every time you get 60 wood, you just add a farm. And you just have to keep doing that. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna make sure that we actually have the house. We'll just swap those two. So basically, you want to go across the map with four archers and one spear. It, the spear is there just if he's going scouts. You can build more spears for defense at home, but if he's going scouts, you want to quick wall your or you want to wall your resources in. I should say, not necessarily quick wall. So we're skipping this archer just just a little while, or we're delaying it just so, to get fletching up. Because you want to have fletching when you go across the map. You want to be able to harass, um, harass him. You can actually kill bills with fletching, whereas without it's like y you probably won't get any kills. Okay, they are standing. There we go. Um, so, we want to go up to 14 farms, I believe. Yeah, 14 farms. Alright. So, how many is this? 12? And I want one more after this. And actually, this, one of these villagers was supposed to go down here. So, these six go to gold. Wow, the, the AI actually went for the skirm opening. <laughs> the Spanish archery range. Beautiful. I would prefer not to lose my units, actually. Because it's good to be able to follow up with crossbowmen. So we're going to add 6 to gold, and we're going to go up with 37 bills. 
That's the Dark Age farm that's just expiring now. Wow, yeah, wow. That's a lot of skirms. He's gonna be in Feudal Age forever. Okay, these four, when this completes, go to stone. Because we're gonna be dropping a castle, remember? That's the idea. Just put everything here. <laughs> Running around. Ooh, don't get house. Uh, here. Brush this out. We'll ignore the, the house sound here for a sec. There we go. Obviously, getting houses is bad. But yeah. With some force drops, we should be able to go up right here. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. Okay, well, I lost a bunch of archers, but it should still be okay. Get out of there, lady. Okay, yeah, so we have 10 on gold. This is a horrible orientation of gold. I think actually, well, the camp on this side would have been way better, but anyways. <laughs> yeah, obviously don't build a spear if he's going skirmishers. Actually, I think the AI is going to run back home. Okay, so we get gold mining upgrade. I, I could have gotten it a little faster. It's good to get it right on the way up. And what we're going to want, we're going to want some stables. So you can use the farmers to build them, you use whatever, it's it's fine. As long as you don't use lumberjacks, actually, to build the stables. Because you actually need the wood income. I would delay getting scale barding, unless the opponent has crossbowmen. Then delay getting the upgrades, because you don't even actually need them, really. The knights on their own are fine. But if he's going crossbowmen, yeah, you're going to want plus one, probably even plus two armor. And you'll see that we're floating a lot of food and gold, which is exactly what we need to spam knights in a second here, once we're up to Castle Age. So I think the AI is probably just going to run home as soon as he sees him up. He doesn't even have fletching, actually. All right. Works. Um, ideally, you'd go up to, like, 10 archers. I think it's probably a bit better. I, I think I probably had that. I think I lost probably three. Oh, he's not even running home. Okay. Oh, forgot about that. So... The next villagers, if you want to keep on the pressure, which is what I'll do here, you send them to gold. If you want to expand your eco behind this, then you send them to wood. So the idea is not to get the castle right away, it's to build up a early military advantage in early castle age, and then go and get the castle up. So we're going to actually build nine knights. Now after nine knights are done, then we're going to be able to just send everything. Oh, no. Okay, ignore that. Let's just, uh... Don't worry about it. As I said, I just finished my stream. Been playing for nine hours. Still getting housed. Anyways. So once these are done... You know, I'm gonna get housed again if I don't do this. Oh. Then, what we do... We're gonna send... 10 or, like, you know, 8 to 10 is good. So we have this huge army advantage. I like to get crossbowmen and bodkin here, too. But you'll see that we're going to have enough to get... Wait, what? I've never seen the AI build a tower like that. Anyways, that makes no sense. Uh, actually, no, no, I like bodkin here instead of more knights. But you can, you can go more knights or you can go for crossbowmen upgrades. It's just a common response to seeing knights is going pikes. Like, like, he has some pikes here. Look, the, the crossbowmen are gonna shred these. Or help shred them, anyways. So we can get a castle... I mean, in an actual game, you might not be able to get it that close. You might be able to get it, like, here, and then, assuming the opponent's gonna be walled. I didn't really micro these, but obviously you wouldn't want to lose... Oh, yeah, half my knights aren't even in the battle, that's why. Um, usually you'd actually maintain your army advantage, but if you find you're getting low in knights, just add more knights. And you want to expand your economy behind this too. See, I'm floating a lot of wood. We're gonna need to replenish the farms anyways, but yeah. Actually, I'd like to get horse collar at this point too. Or, sorry, heavy plow. Yeah, that's the one. But see, I have, I have like, 
fully upgraded, or, well, full attack upgrades on these things, you just keep the crossbowmen alive. Like, don't let them die. That's the important thing. And then you don't have to build any more of them. Um, and then you want to get maybe, like, a siege workshop behind this. You can get a another TC. You want to go up to three TCs for sure, though. But I like to get the siege shop here. And then you want to take some kind of resource on the front. Here I'm going to take gold. But yeah, see, I don't actually have enough for the third TC. Because uh, I'm spending it on siege now. So I'd have to rebalance a bit. Or send more to wood, really. Oh, there we go. Actually, the, the, the TC came up, so now I have enough wood income. But yeah, when you're expanding the economy, you can't really add as many knights. Also, you have to pay attention when you're reseeding. Pay attention if you need the wood for mangonels, because see, I reseeded that one, but now I can't quite get the mangonel right away. Wow, this is an interesting pattern for these. In an actual game, I'd be running around, like I'd be going here, maybe trying to harass with these things, build some more knights. You can add more crossbowmen, you just... You'd rather not. You'd rather spend your resources on more knights or whatever. But keep in mind that Vikings, their knights suck. The only reason you do this is because they have the super good early economy with the handcart. And so you can spam out a bunch right away, like at the start of Castle Age. You have to transition out of knights. So if you see your opponents going a bunch of pikes, look, you can make berserks easily. So you just go berserk. Um, if your opponent's going crossbowmen, well, you can stick on knight for a while. Like, you, you still have plus two. Crossbowmen, you'd probably want to add more siege, though. Like, add in scorpions, add in whatever, more mangonels. But, yeah, you, you should definitely have a third TC at this point, so. Probably, probably get it. I think this gold is probably, it's pretty exposed. Like, let's get it here. I don't want to actually make this guy resign. I, I think that the build is pretty much done, though. Like, at this point, it's just you're kind of just improvising. You just, you know, add farms here and there. We've got the full ecotechs rolling. Um, we have the sort of castle that secures this area. It would have been actually better to build the castle maybe on this hill to kill this. Or just a little bit closer. Maybe here, if I was thinking a little bit more. But, anyways. This AI is dead. This is the extreme AI, by the way. Like... All I did was execute a build order. And yeah, I guess we'll go until he resigns. Which should be pretty soon, I would think. We'll add in a Berserk, just for fun. If I can afford it. It's the Viking Eco. Wait, he's just up to Castle now. Yeah, see, he tried to do this, this weird feudal thing. It just wasn't enough. Like, that, I lost to feudal pressure today, but... This was nothing like that. Like, the, the guy that I lost today, he had forward buildings, and yeah, I... The, the archers that I was planning to make weren't even out, and he already had skirms and spears in my base. It was pretty bad. And yeah, he just kind of crushed me, but his AI is nothing. We got the crossbows to kill units coming here. Oh yeah, another strategy I encountered, of course, was knights. So if you're up against knights, like say Lithuanian's knights, you can add your own pikes. Like, you can switch to pikes. I would recommend... Um, you could even go berserks and pikes. If he has something else. You, you add another barracks. Get pikemen upgrade. And then just, you know, stop. Or you can build knights as well. Because you already have some upgrades on them. But you want to have some pikes in the mix. And maybe, maybe less on the crossbowman side. And more on the pike side. So maybe even don't even upgrade the crossbowman with Bodkin, just just go for pikes instead. Uh, yeah. I'm not really paying attention to my economy anyways. So this AI is dead. Just needs to resign. Actually, can I 105 him? Didn't work. He's not ready to quit. Anyways, um, yeah, it's nice It's nice to be able to take your opponent's resources on the front, too. And another advantage of having a forward castle is that, basically, when he's going to push an imp, he's going to want to take this out, so that actually kind of slows his imp push down, unless he just goes around. This, this tower is something else. Like, I guess it was like a feudal rush with 
some towers? Or that was the plan? I don't even know. I've never seen anything like that. But this guy, what is he doing? I guess, oh, I guess he has another TC here. Or does he? Maybe not. Yeah, this is a very stubborn AI. He doesn't have any. He deleted all of his farms, too. What is this? Oh, there. He's abdicating. Oh, blood. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. The build is in the Discord if you want it. Alright. Let's actually here. We'll, we'll take a look at the timeline. Okay. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Collect quite a bit. I guess in the end, I wasn't really doing anything. But yeah, you can actually macro properly. Wow, yeah, so he had so much in Feudal, but it didn't do anything. Okay, I'm done.